Hello and welcome to another edition of our ETF Insight Series, where we chat with innovative leaders from the ETF and digital assets ecosystem. Today, I'm really delighted to be joined by Dave Abner, who is Global Head of Business Development for Gemini. Dave, it is so great to see you. It's been a long time since I last saw you here in London. Um, so why don't you tell us, kick it off and tell us what you're doing um, since you've moved back to the States and um, everything about Gemini. Absolutely. Thanks, Andrea. It's great to be here. Great to see you again as well. Um, I joined uh, Gemini about uh, seven months ago as the global head of business development. I really wanted to find a firm that looked a lot like a traditional finance firm, but was on the cutting edge of financial products. And that's the way I think about Gemini as a whole, right? I came out of uh, you know, the ETF world. And 20 years ago, when I started in ETFs, they were totally cutting edge. People were like, what's an, what's an EFT? And I, I get the same feeling about crypto, right? Often when people find them in the crypto space, they're like, well, you know, you know, on the institutional, the, the investors that I talk to are like, well, tell me about this Bitcoin stuff. I keep hearing about it or reading about it. And that felt like, along with the educational process that I've been doing, for years, it felt like an opportunity to do that again, right? I could, I'm, I'm deeply enmeshed in the community. I understand the technology and the applications, and I can bring that knowledge from, uh, you know, a very harsh technical, hard to understand technical description into something that institutional investors and, and all investors can really understand and, and sort of learn to incorporate into their portfolios. That was uh, sort of what drew me to the uh, to the space, and Gemini seemed like the perfect place to be able to do it from. And as speaking of education, I mean, you've obviously been in this, um, you know, known about this space for a while, and you've educated yourself over, you know, period of time. Um, what would you do? You have any suggestions for those of us who are, you know, in the financial services community who haven't quite gotten into that space yet? Like, where do we, where should we even start to look in terms of? How to educate ourselves. Yeah, look, um, if you had asked me this like five years ago, I may have said, you know, go read these books on the industry. And there are some great books on the industry. But nowadays, I would say there is such a wealth of information in the podcasting space that you could spend a few months digging deep into a wide range of podcasts, and, and there's a whole list of them I can give you, uh, you know, in another time. But you can basically get a PhD in crypto space from podcasts, right? So much great content out there and a variety of views. So to me, that's the way you can do it now. And what's great about podcasting is you can go for a run, throw on a podcast, and you get an hour of exercise and you get an hour of knowledge. It's, it's just an awesome method nowadays. No, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. So the, the other question I have is in the US, where you're obviously based now again, you know, there are a number of firms, I think there's 12, 13 now that have filed with the SEC for crypto ETPs. And again, mm -hmm. another hard question to answer because it's hard to have a crystal ball. But do you have any idea or sense of what it's going to take for like, who's going to be the first one, which firm will be the first one to launch? I mean, is, this, is there a way to figure that out? Or is it kind of a wait and see type scenario? Great question, right? We've, we've, uh, the ETF issuers have evolved over the years. They all are, all the filings are bringing really credible products to the space. So I think it would be really hard for the SEC to determine one filing over the other, except for a few that don't meet some basic minimum requirements, right? Institutional custody type products, a real administrator, things like that. What I think is harder and uh, what I think is slowing down the process, really, it's clear that approving a Bitcoin ETF it is not the end of the line. It's actually the beginning of the line. And you saw this in Canada, right? Right after the Bitcoin ETFs were approved, they all filed and we launched four Ethereum ETFs, right? Oh, so far-fetched to think that, okay, you launch a Bitcoin ETF, then you're going to want an Ethereum ETF, then there's going to be a Litecoin ETF and maybe a Bitcoin Cash ETF. And then we're going to be talking about Aave and Compound and all sorts of different products, right? So I think the SEC, that's what's slowing down. You don't need to just have an understanding of Bitcoin, but you need to have some sort of regulatory oversight or thought process around the space because the ETF industry is full of innovators, right? And they're all going to look at 
a Bitcoin ETF and they're going to say, okay, if that was approved, well, let's wrap this, let's wrap this, let's wrap this, because we don't know what's going to be the most important product to come next, right? And they're going to immediately inundate with a whole bunch of innovative products. And the SEC realizes that they need to be ready for that, right? They need to have a consistent answer all the way through. And so I think that's the most important thing that's going to come from this is how do they sort of have some oversight and have some regulatory sort of clear thought process around the crypto industry before they approve. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, no, that's that's very interesting. And um, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, first of all, love your shirt, by the way. I didn't mention that at the beginning. Um, and thank you so much for you know joining us on this video today. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, if you have any questions for Dave, I'm sure he'd be happy for you to reach out to him on like, through LinkedIn. Um, if you have any, if you'd like to see more of our insight videos, you can go to blackwatersearch.com. And thank you again for watching. Thanks again. See ya.